Yo, what's happening, folks? It's your boy Sports PSP in the building. Hope everyone's enjoying a fantastic day. I'm reading an article here from ESPN.com. Los Angeles Clippers forward Kawhi Leonard has been diagnosed with a torn meniscus in his right knee. Sources confirmed to ESPN on Wednesday. The Clippers and Leonard will decide on the course of treatment for the injury within the next two weeks, sources told ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Leonard did not play in the final three games of the Clippers' first-round series against the Phoenix Suns because of the injury suffered in Game 1. The Clippers, who lost four straight after opening the series with a win, had said Leonard had a right knee sprain. Leonard had played through the injury in Game 2 before being ruled out for Games 3 through 5. The Clippers were eliminated with a 136-130 loss Tuesday. The injury was compounded by the loss of Paul George, who has not played since March 21st because of a right knee sprain. This is a, I'm reading a quote here from Ty Lu. It's always in the back of your mind. What if? It's easy to say what if because a lot of guys get hurt. It's just been our luck the last three years. The Clippers had Leonard and George together on the floor only 38 times this season, going 24 and 14 in those games. This is the second time in three seasons that Leonard has suffered a right knee injury during the playoffs. He suffered a partial tear in his right ACL during the 2021 Western Conference semifinals before undergoing surgery in July 2021 and missing last season, the entire season last season. Leonard, who is 31 years old, averaged 23.8 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 3.9 assists in 52 games, 50 starts this season in 2022 and 2023. He has not played more than 60 games in any season since 2016-2017. It was first reported by the athletic Sham Sharania and information from ESPN's Olum Yogmisuk and Reuters was used in the report. So what are my thoughts about Kawhi Leonard's injury? Look, that's been the problem with Kawhi Leonard. We know as phenomenal as he is as a talent, at best, when Kawhi Leonard is available and healthy, you know, at one point he was considered a top three, top five, top 10 player in the NBA, but injuries have derailed his career. Um... They got to find a way. The Clippers have to find a way to keep Russell Westbrook. And the reason why they have to find a way to keep Russell Westbrook, because it's not just Paul George's, you know, Ka Kawhi Leonard's injury history. It's also Paul George's as well. Without Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, who's going to provide that spark or plus to the team? It has to be Russell Westbrook. Now, look, last night, just like in game one, was not his best performance as far as shooting from the field. Russell Westbrook was 3 of 18 from the field, 1 of 6 from three-point range. But games 2, 3, and 4, he um he played well as far as shooting and scoring. And game 1, despite 3 of 19 from the field, he made up for it with his offensive rebounding and his defense, particularly against Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. And when you look at Russell Westbrook in the postseason, yes, he did shoot 41% from the field, and a lot of that has to do with games 1 and 5. But... He averaged 35.7% from the three-point line. He averaged around 88% from the free throw line. And he still gave you 23.6 points, 7.6 rebounds, 7.4 assists. And Ty Lu gave Russell Westbrook his praise, his due, as far as what he can do on um, scoring, defensive, and helping the Clippers during the season once he was acquired. And um, of course, Paul George has given Russell Westbrook his praise. He and Paul, uh, he and Russ, they were former teammates going back to their days in OKC. I think Russ should still stay with the Clippers. He's from LA. He loves it there. Um, I think this is the best situation for him at this stage in his career. And like I said, without Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, two although two of your best players, but known for durability history. Who's going to provide that spark or plus? That's Russell Westbrook. So I think Russ did enough as far as being on an NBA roster. As for Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, you know, and, and, and I thought about this, should Kawhi Leonard retire? Should Kawhi Leonard retire? And... This is a really tough situation because, look, Kawhi Leonard, even if he retired, 
no doubt about it, he's going to the Hall of Fame. Top 75 player of all time, two-time champion, two-time finals MVP, two-time defensive player of the year, perennial all-star, um, one of the best two-way players the game has ever encountered. We know what he can do as far as offensively with the big range game, um, his ability to score, and what he can do defense. But his durability history, um, just like I said in the report, Kawhi Leonard, the only time he has played more than 60 games, he, he hasn't played more than 60 games in any season since 2016-2017. That was the year in which the San Antonio Spurs, they were like the number two seed in the Western Conference and they made it to the Western Conference Finals. And then Kawhi Leonard, unfortunately, couldn't finish that series because he got cheap-shotted by Zaza Pachulia. I think it was game one. But I'm starting to wonder about Kawhi Leonard's history, um, future. I think Kawhi Leonard has about maybe a year or two left in the NBA. Some people may say, nah, he shouldn't retire because if he retires, it's going to hurt his reputation even more, given the fact that he's load managed, he's known for missing games, people are going to find more of an excuse to question his character or, what his, or his commitment to basketball, but the injuries that he's accumulated throughout his career, do you really want to deal with that? And with Paul George. And Paul George is a very good player, but the Clipper, but OKC, the Oklahoma City Thunder, even though they're not in the playoffs, they won this trade with Paul George because they accumulated draft picks and they were able to get Shea Gilgris Alexander, who was in the discussion for most improved player of the year and made the all-star. And... The Clippers so far, they've only been to one conference finals since those two have been in the team back in 2019. And if you look at it, in 300, I'm reading this stat here from ESPN, in 347 games from the Clippers since the 2019-2020 season, including playoffs and play-in, 347 games played, 142 games, that's with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George on the court. 41% of possible games played. So, unfortunately, with the Clippers, with the Kawhi Leonard-Paul George duo, it hasn't worked out as far as championships and it hasn't worked out as far as them being out, uh, being available on the court. So, what should happen with the Clippers? Should the Clippers still keep Kawhi Leonard? Should the Clippers, at some point, they should reconstruct this team, rebuild this team? Should they also find a way to get rid of Paul George? Please leave your comments in the comment section below, folks. What should the Los Angeles Clippers do? Because their future with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, hate to say it, very uncertain. And it, it doesn't look good for Clippers. But again, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Other than that, folks, it's your boy Sports PSP. Hope everyone's enjoying the rest of your day. And as usual, folks, God bless.